are gathered together this October 11th in a year that will go down in infamy, 2020. In the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is instituted by God. It is regulated by his commandments. It is blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ and is to be held in honor by all because it signifies to us the mystical union between Christ and his church. So a couple years ago, I got a Father's Day card and I got a Father's Day card from all the kids and Landon even signed it. And this is what Landon said. Thank you for letting me date Bryn. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't love a boy like that? I could not have imagined a more perfect man for my daughter. That's what I think of you. I love you like a son. When the morning light brings us to our feet. Me and Brynn have shared a room since we were really, really young. But I didn't know how hard it was going to be to say goodbye to my best friend. Growing up, I thought you were seriously the coolest person on the planet. Like, I wanted to be you. Everything you did, I thought was the coolest thing ever. devoted to the good of the other. So we know both of you are competitive. We know both of you are athletic. My marriage is not a competition. It's death. It's dying to yourself for the good of the other. And so the best advice I can give you is know how much God loves you. Know how much God loves you. And when you experience the reality of it, give that same love to one another by dying to yourself and living for the good of the other. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Bryn, take you landing. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. This I do promise and covenant. And this I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. Brian, I give you this ring. Landon, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. By virtue of the authority committed unto me by the Presbyterian Church in America and the laws of the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What God has joined together, let no one tear asunder. Dude, you may kiss your bride.
Bryn has never asked me to be anything other than myself. In a world where we are all want to be understood, you were that person for me. And it wasn't, you never needed me to be anything but myself. We're so different. And Landon, I feel like I've only really gotten to know you in the past like, year. Plus the way that Bryn approaches her relationships, you guys are gonna be a major force for change in this world. And you're gonna attract a lot of messy people. So get ready. <laughs> a lot of messy people. And that's all of us. And we all need somebody like Brennan Landon. I've always admired how you've never cared what others thought of you, and you're always your own person. And you've taught me many, many things, but the biggest thing to me is you taught me how to be unapologetically myself, which is such a free thing. So I thank you for that. have both taught me to be confident in myself and y'all are also made me realize that I actually do have good things to say and that I should always speak my mind and my thoughts that y'all have shown me what true love looks like Me and Landon have always had this rivalry too. Like, he's the only person that has ever been competitive with me and wanted to beat me as bad as I wanted to beat him. And Landon, you really have been the best big brother. You always looked out for me, even though it didn't seem like that. And you always made sure I didn't get in trouble with the parents. You made sure I was always safe. And you always told me what not to tell them. And I'm sorry I snitched on you. So I've just always looked up to you because like you are one of the most hardworking, ambitious, humble people I've ever met. So Landon, you really deserve the world. And I really believe you found it in Bryn. So I'm glad y'all got married. She's been my best friend since we were little. She was the good kid. Uh, she always followed the rules and did what my mom and dad told her to do. I unfortunately had my own issues and growing up, uh, Bryn always had my back, you know? She really did and, and I know I said this last night, but one of the things I remember the most is her begging my dad not to discipline me because she loved me so much. She was like, Dad, he didn't mean to. And even though I did, uh, <laughs> You know, she would cover for me. <laughs> she always had my back. I couldn't ask for anybody better than you, Landon, to be with my sister, and I, and I trust you. I really do, and I'm, and I'm so grateful. So grateful for him and his family.